just a quick recap of what happened. So <laughs> you can see we had one hell of a pump. Um, from where we bottomed, we pushed up a total of 32%. Let me go back. So I'm going to cover a few things here. So I did make a tweet. This was on January 28th, and I was showing that we had just pushed above this trend line. And you know, you know me, guys. I'm a bear, but you know, you can read the caption here. That looks bullish, but I'm skeptical. And guys, the reason I was skeptical, I'm going to show you why. Um, but yeah, we did push above this, and you know, once we got above this point, we did push up. Let me show you. So. Again, this is the chart. This is that trend line right here that we we got above, and then from that point we did come back down, and then we pushed back up, and then obviously we came back down to where we're at right now. At the time of recording this video, we're at thirty four thousand two hundred twenty nine. Now, when I was playing this, um, so I I made a prediction here. I said it's likely. I said my guess is we'll 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 test 33,767 area and then come back down and I was saying good luck guys and I was showing right here I was I update you guys you know hourly daily on um, Twitter but I was saying it's likely we're gonna push up and possibly test this resistance or at least this resistance here on this chart I'll show you this chart and I got out here um, this is where I got out expecting us to come back down we did push up to this point and then dropped about two thousand dollars so this is this chart here. So this is where I got out right here at 33,811. At this point I went to bed and then of course I woke up in the morning and we were all the way up here at 38,589. But you can see what happened. We, we immediately came down and this is currently where we're at. I missed out on all these gains again because I was sleeping. Uh, it would have been nice to you know to take profit on this. I did have charts that actually uh, did nail the top for this. Uh, I just want to go over some of this stuff. So let me show you this chart. This, this is what's really interesting. So let me let me play a little clip of this for you. This uh, I put this video out on January 27th. This is the great thing about Fib Circles. Notice that this red ring was support. Support, 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 flipped as resistance. Where do we come down and find support? Right on the red ring. Where do we find support again? On this red ring. So we could drop below this point. If we do, I'm going to give you some price targets to pay attention to. So if we drop below this point, uh, your next support is going to be right here at 29,112. And you can see, if I draw a trend line here, this is a FIP channel. You can see this actually was a resistance, flip support. Notice you found perfect support here, perfect support here. So a likely point to catch a bounce if we drop is going to be around 29,112. And if we push up, it is possible, guys, if we do, uh, this ring will be resistance around 31,900. So this is just showing this chart and showing where I was calling for a potential point to catch a bounce. Now I did have a previous video, I don't know which one it is, but I went into detail about this white FIP circle and this red FIP circle. Let me show you this actual chart. So if you'll notice uh, in that video, this is what I was referring to. Uh, this chart here, uh, guys, if you, are, if you do have access to these charts, this chart name is the Coinbase uh, Weekly 3-Hour 2030B. Notice we found support here. Before I go into this, guys, if you do want to access these charts, the website's opticalartcrypto.com. The link will be pinned in the first comment and in the description. I have bitcoins, altcoins, precious metal stocks, and tutorials. Tutorials and stocks are separate. Uh, for $39 a month, you get access to altcoins, bitcoins, precious metals. You also get access to my Twitter, and you get access to our Discord, where everybody shares trade ideas and trade setups. We have different channels with well alerts and so on. But let me go back to this chart. So I just want to show you, um, So, and this is what I was talking about, and this is the FIP channel line I was referencing in that video right here. You can see that we got perfect support right here, and we got perfect support right here. And where I said we would come down and catch a bounce, we caught a bounce right here, right on target. And then what the great thing is, now if you go back, if you, if you saw that previous video where I was talking about this white FIP circle, let me get rid of the MACD so you can see all of this. So this is what I was talking about, and let me, I, like I said, guys, I update everyone on Twitter, so you can see we were moving up this uh, trend line right here. So obviously when you break this trend line, the trajectory changes and you can come back down. So let me get this out of the way so you can see this. But if you'll notice, this FIP circle, and I'm going to show you the published version, this is what I was talking about, this, this FIP circle. Well, yes, I did mention the red FIP circle as well. Um, we pushed above it. Let me move this out of the way, guys. 
So if, if you'll notice, what happened is it was resistance, came back down to support, we pushed up to this white ring, support, came down to this white ring, support, pushed up to this one, resistance, resistance, came down, it was support, dropped down to this, this um, fib channel line here, pushed back up as resistance, support, resistance, support, we broke it, we came down, we hit my target. Notice where we pushed up, guys. This is the beautiful thing about fib circles. While some people really can't tell where targets are, I mean, if, if you would draw a trend line, you know, something like this, Okay, you get a general idea. Hey, if you break above this, potentially you can push up. Well, how high, how high can you go? Well, according to this chart, using a FIB circle, if you're respecting a FIB circle, resistance, support, resistance, uh, support down here, resistance, support, resistance, support. If you push above it, where's the likely point to get rejected? Right here at this ring. So you had a chart that already showed you a potential point to get out. Now again, I wish I was awake because if I was playing this, I would have sold when it hit this point. But let me show you this published chart right here. So uh, again, this is published on December 31st. Uh, this is that same chart you can see right here. Uh, this, is, this is this red ring right here where we made contact. So let me show you this published version. So I'm going to zoom in just a bit and hit play here. You can see this white white ring right here. So let me zoom in. And I'm going to give you some price targets too and um, show you where this is ultimately headed. But if I hit play, notice, notice right here. And again, same chart. Uh, Coinbase Weekly 3 hour 1230p. So you can see you know, if you had access to this chart, you knew, since we were respecting this wide FIP circle so well, again, rings help you, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Fibonacci, guys, just like FIP retracements, um, FIP channels, when you set up FIP circles a certain way, you can predict where potential tops and bottoms are, and this shows you, again, this is a published chart, I can't edit this chart, if I hit edit, all I can do is rename it, I can't actually edit the chart itself, but notice we topped out right here right here at 38,736 right at this ring and notice where we came down found support right here on this fib channel line so again i'm just showing you that when you have access to these charts and i always say reference different charts they're charted different ways but this chart here nailed the bottom one two three times and it nailed the top and you can see we came down and now we are finding support right here so again, uh, I expect a major move to happen soon, and we're going to cover this. This goes with the dollar index and the Dow Jones and a few other things. This chart, uh, let's see. So this here, this was, I was referencing some charts. That, again, this right here, we had topped out at 34,198. I said it was possible. Um, we could be uh, topped out here at least temporarily. I was just saying temporarily. Look, guys, I swing trade. Notice this chart's been pretty accurate. You can see we came up as um, resistance, support, came down as support, resistance, support, dropped down to this line perfectly as uh, support, resistance, resistance, push up to here. So typically what I do is I sell at resistance, I buy at support. If you push back up, I wait to buy at support. So I was referencing this chart um, and as well as this chart. Um, price pushed up and we got resistance here. I was saying at this point, uh, let's see if 33,800 holds the support. So again, it did hold its support and we came down. Again, I, I did miss out on those gains you know, when we pushed up. But you can see how accurate this chart's been. So let me give you a couple price targets on this chart uh, right here. So, so your current, sorry guys, let me, let me just duplicate this. I'll make this bigger so you can see it. So right now, your resistance that, needs, that, that we need to see if it holds is right here at 34,583 according to this chart. Your next support level to watch is going to be down here around 32,596. And then if we drop below that, your next support to watch is 30,576. If we push up, your next point to get potentially rejected is 36,036. That's on this chart, guys. Always reference different charts. Again, this is another chart. This is kind of charted the same way as the other one. If you notice, I have this brown ring here. This also uh, nailed the top on this. And guys, what I say is if you look at multiple charts, and you have a point where price stops right at a point and you have two charts that are in confluence so I have this chart you can see right here topped out right here and then I had this chart we topped out here so let me just show you so currently on this chart and again this chart of this kind of the same way as the other one just give you some the most important thing to know is if we drop another key support level and this is on that other chart as well 
So you can see right here, this is this this has the same fib channel right here. This was support, support, support. So a very important key uh, key support level needs to hold is right here at twenty nine thousand four hundred, and then of course we're waiting to see if we break. Uh, 33,127 depends to come down and test this target and I think we're coming down much lower and I'll cover that in just a bit uh, this here is the uh, Bitcoin dominance chart guys this is a very important chart all these charts are available on my website this one specifically is under BTC related um, and I was talking about uh, let's see here I had a video where I was talking about um, uh, it's right here Sorry, I didn't plan this too well. So let me play a little clip of this for you uh, about Bitcoin dominance. This was published on January 23rd, um, and I'll put a link up to this one. All these videos I'm referencing, I'll, um, I'll have in the description. Um, so I covered Bitcoin dominance in my previous videos. Now, at the time, uh, we, were, we were finding support here. So look, if we break support, look, if, if Bitcoin dominance pushes up, that's bullish for the price of Bitcoin. Dominance comes down, that's bearish. We came down, we found support, we broke it, it flipped as resistance, and now you can see dominance is coming down. I think it's likely we're going to come down and test this as support around 62.21. Again, and, and I'm saying dominance down, price of Bitcoin down. Uh, and and that's, that's all the same. When, when dominance is, is down, um, the price of Bitcoin is going down. When dominance pushes up, the price of Bitcoin goes up. And you can see what happened here. And, and the thing is, if you had access to these charts, uh, not this chart, actually, this chart right here. So if you had access to this chart, uh, you knew, potentially, your top was right here. You can see that when we pushed up, we topped out right here at this white ring. Uh, this chart here, you can see we topped out at this orange ring right here. And on top of that, you had a uh, Bitcoin dominance. When Bitcoin dominance pushed up and topped out right here, this was another chart showing, hey, this is potentially the top to come down. So I had two charts uh, for spot price showing me we were potentially topped out. And then we had um, Bitcoin dominance got topped out. Guys, this, this, this uh, Bitcoin dominance chart has been completely accurate for resistance and support. And you can see dominance is currently coming down. I'm expecting dominance to come way down. I'm expecting some major moves, guys. I, I told you about the um, 28th. I have been getting a lot of uh, comments, people saying, you said the 28th, I was expecting everything to dump. Well, actually, if we're gonna cover the Dow Jones, the Dow Jones did dump. This was a pump before a dump, guys. Again, <laughs> a lot of manipulation going on here, but you'll see the bigger picture soon enough. So this was a video I put out. Uh, I, again, I, I do stocks as well as Bitcoin and altcoins. Let me play a clip of this. I'll put a, a link up to it now. It'll be in the description as well. This was January 26th. Uh, and it says, look, epic move for Bitcoin only days away, and it's coming. So let me play a clip of this for you real quick. Or at least the U.S. markets, the Dow Jones, S&P, NASDAQ. I'm expecting us. We could come up a little bit more, but... I'm expecting at this point, this is when the markets start correcting. And so, and again, that's that's what I was showing you that I expected the Dow to start coming down. And if if you'll notice, <laughs> this is how it played out. Um, and let me put that uh, vertical line for the um, the 28th, which was right right here. So again, I, when I'm saying the bubble popped. And I'll explain this when I show you the dollar index. But for me, the bubble's already popped. A lot of you are probably expecting, oh, well, on this certain day, everything should have crashed. Well, first of all, you got to keep in mind, if everything's going to come down, Wells, market makers, are going to push the price up because they want to liquidate shorts. They want people to get uh, long on Bitcoin, and then they tank the market. More profit for them um, and you know, more losses for retail. So you can see how that played out. You know, I was saying, look guys, we're topped out here, we're coming down. That is how it played out with the Dow Jones. This right here was a tweet I made. Um, and I was uh, responding to someone that was that said they made a bad trade on the Dow. And I said, why not financial advice and be very cautious. Um, but if I was going to chance a put on the Dow Jones, it would be now. This was on January 28th and I was showing right here. 30,892. You can see this was resistance. So at this point, I expected us to come down. And on this chart, you can see how this played out. So if if anyone, and some people did, if you follow me on Twitter, you can read some of the comments. But at this point, where I said, hey, this is ideal point to put in a short. And you can see before markets closed, we came down a total of 3.45%. Uh, so on the Dow, that's a, that's a pretty substantial drop. But this falls into 
the dollar index, Bitcoin, everything. Again, I think the bubble has already popped. I expect the markets to continue down. You know, we could push up again. You can see here, you know, we dropped, we came back back up as resistance push back down it's possible we could push back up again but ultimately i think we are headed down and this goes with the nasdaq um and i do have NAS the nasdaq and s p charts as well but again just showing you how the dow jones played out so this brings me to so this is a uh, bitcoin dominant so this brings me to what uh i i guess maybe you know some people were talking about hey you said everything was going to crash guys i didn't say everything was going to crash um let me put a vertical line here so i was referencing uh, the 28th, which was right here. So what I was saying was, is at the time the dollar was here. So I was saying if the dollar pushes down, it continues down like this. At this point, if it did something like this, at this point, this is when the dollar would start pushing up this ring. You can see what happened. At this point, the dollar already started pushing up, then came back down and looked for right here at this ring. So I'm expecting the dollar to do this. Is going to continue to do this every time it hits this ring. It's going to push up, and push up, and you can see that's what happened with these previous orange rings. So understand, guys, we're working with uh, fib channel lines and trend lines and rings that are at angles or curves. So depending on at what price and when you make contact, or depending on what what time when you actually make contact, depends on the price. We pushed up, so that put us further from the ring, but we are very close to this ring now. When we make contact with it, we expect it to push it up. And you can see that is how it played out with these previous, uh, these orange rings in the swift circle. We hit this, got a bounce, hit it, got a bounce, we broke it. Respecting this, this yellow ring as well, but notice what happened. Got to this ring, bounce, 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 bounce. And notice every time we hit this ring, we push up a little bit more each time. So I'm expecting with this next ring, it's going to push us up even higher. So we'll just continue up this ring. And guys, as I've said many times, Bitcoin is a hedge against the U.S. dollar. You can clearly see that. If you have access, if you have access to this chart, you can zoom out and see the bigger picture. This goes way back. The price of uh, the dollar comes down. Bitcoin pushes up. The dollar breaks up. Bitcoin comes down. And that is currently what's going on now. We are in a falling wedge right now with the dollar about to potentially break to the upside. Bitcoin has been pushing up. If the dollar pushes up, guys, what's going to happen? Dollar pushes up, Bitcoin comes down. And again, the reason I was saying it would be that date is because when we hit this ring, it's going to do what happened to these previous two rings. It's going to push the dollar up. And when the dollar hits this ring, which is going to be very soon, if, if you don't have access to the charts, well, be paying attention to um, to the markets um, next week, early next week. But again, I'm expecting this ring to play out just like these previous two rings. And when this plays out, when we hit this ring, again, we're already days past this point. But once we hit this ring, we're going to get a bounce, a bounce, a bounce. And that is going to break us up from this falling wedge. And as you can see, Bitcoin is a hedge against the U.S. dollar. The dollar up, Bitcoin down. I'm expecting an epic crash. And guys, you just witnessed a pump before a dump. This is the peak of the bull run 2.0 chart. All of this right here, all of this was FOMO right here. And look how much we've come down. Now we're back underneath this. So I'm expecting this to continue to come down. And if you do want to have my price targets... This brings me to my, my chart, the chart where I have my price targets, where I'm buying in. I am in 100% USD. <laughs> this thing is going to come down. And my first target to buy, if we get one hell of a drop, is going to be this blue ring, wherever we make contact to catch a bounce. When we come down, when we hit this red ring, guys, I've showed you this plenty of times. We've been respecting this red ring going so far back. Let me get rid of the MACD and RSI here. You can see this red ring. This has been this is a magical red ring right here. Look at this. It was support, 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 flip resistance, resistance, flip support, 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 COVID crash. And if we pan over here, I mean, if you, if you had this ring following my charts, you knew exactly when to get out. And I made videos in the past saying Bitcoin uh, is topped for a drop. 
So people say, why are you bearish? Every video you make, you're calling for a drop. Well, guys, if you had access to this damn chart and you paid attention, you knew that it was only temporary, but it was a drop. You hit it. You, you knew when to sell. You hit it. 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 You knew when to sell. Well, we came down. What happened? We came back up to the ring. What happened? Rejected. 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 Oh, if you sold there, you did pretty good. We came down. We tested the 20 week. We can pan on over to the right more. So again, this is that same red ring. If you've been following me, look, we hit this ring. It was resistance, flip support. I bought in right here. Took my profit, bought in again, rode it up. You know, I swing trade, guys. Uh, I, I've been mentioning this blue ring for I don't know how long. At this blue ring, this is this also goes at the peak of the bull run chart. You can see that when we hit this ring, I'll make to, uh, if I can find my measure tool here. You can see that when we hit this ring, we did push above it, but at this ring, we got a 20% drop. I've been talking about this ring forever, and we hit it, and we did get a drop. People say, you said we were going to crash. Well, guys, we had a 20% correction. Bitcoin's going to do what Bitcoin does, but I was talking about this months in advance. So if you if you've been following me and you had access to the chart, you knew when we got to this ring, pay attention for a drop. And even from the ring itself, that was right there. It was a 15.5% drop. So I took my profit at the ring, bought back, wrote it back up. So again, I'm just showing these charts are accurate, and I'm showing you this red ring is very accurate. And you see this is the 20 week. This this yellow line here is the 20 week. It's pushing closer and closer to this red ring. So as I mentioned in that previous video, guys, uh, again, if you have access, if you have access to the charts, this is called the Bitstamp Daily Moving Average 300, 200, 100. This is this is under BTC related. My buy-in is right here. At this ring, wherever we make contact depends on the price. I'm going in 100% at this ring. Hopefully it holds, guys, and we continue to push up and we continue our bull run. Another scenario, we come down. You know, a lot of times we break below a point. If we do, we come down to this point, potentially come up, get rejected, we come up, find support, we're off to do our bull run. So I'll go in 100% at this, uh, this ring here. If it's the bearish case, guys, I'm expecting the dollar to go way up, and I'm expecting markets to correct quite a bit. If the dollar continues to push up as high as I think it's possible, we could come down much lower. So the bearish scenario is we come down, we catch a bounce. I'm going to go in 100%, put my stop loss 1% above. If it breaks it, I get stopped out, lose nothing. I come down here, it comes down to this, this orange ring, I go in 100%. It pushes up, set my stop loss 1% above. If it comes up, and we find resistance at this ring. We've been respecting this ring going way back. We get rejected. And then we come down. Guys, the next point I'm buying in is right here, where I'm going in 100%. I am not going to miss this. If I come down, I'll stay up, you know, 72 hours, whatever it takes to make sure I buy at this point. Because this is the lowest point I see us going again. And again, if you go back and watch previous videos, I mentioned that, you know, a lot of the gaps. Uh, they're on the CME chart, which I do have as well, that also help nail the top right here. But guys, this is these are the points I'm buying. This right here needs to hold. This is potentially going to be where the 20 weeks going to be. It is possibly drop below. This is my next buy-in. And this is the absolute lowest point I see Bitcoin going. Um, and I will show you that gap on the CME futures is around 3,500. 3, it's a small gap, but this ring right here, this actually is right here where that gap's at. But again, I don't see it's going this low, but this is a target. If it got really bad, you do have a target. But again, my targets to buy are here. And of course, if I'm wrong and we go to the moon, guys, your next point to get out and take your profit, if we push up, if things get crazy and Elon puts out another tweet, you know, and we continue up, guys, this is the point to take your profit. 60,982. 60, I've already proved how accurate these FIB circles are. So again, I'm just telling you, uh, you can clearly see that, you know, the Dow's coming down, NASDAQ's coming down. You can see that the dollar, uh, the DXY, I got my charts here. You can see this chart. If it plays out the way I'm expecting it to, there's no reason it wouldn't. Every time we hit an orange ring, we push up. We hit the orange ring, we push up. Hit the orange ring, we push up. I'm expecting the same damn thing to play out right here. And that means we will be breaking up. Let me remove this. We'll be breaking up from this falling wedge. And when that happens, the dollar is going to moon. It's going way up here, which means Bitcoin is going to come down quite a bit. And when that happens, these are my price targets right here. One, two, three... And if it gets really bad, 
this is where I will be buying. This is the lowest point. You do not want to miss these targets. And again, if you want to access these charts, you can do so on my website, guys. It's opticalartcrypto.com. Link be pinned in the first comment in the description. Bitcoins, altcoins, precious metals, Discord, and Twitter for $39 a month. If you want access to stocks and tutorials, uh, that is separate. If you want to contact me, I could work something out with you. That's your choice. But guys, that's it. Just pay attention. Um, the most important thing to take away from this video, guys, is come next week. That is when things are going to get very interesting. That is when I expect this to play out, just like last time. Support on the ring. We're going to hit this ring, and it's going to push the dollar up. We're going to break up from this falling wedge. Bitcoin is going to come down, and I'm ready to buy in at these targets. That's it, guys. Till the next video.